Hello, today we're watching 47 Ronin. It's actually based on a true story. A Ronin is a samurai warrior without a master. Everyone's sleeping on this movie. I love this movie. This is Keanu Reeves. Maybe that would be enough to make you watch it, but I think this movie you should watch. So let's watch the first 10 minutes and let's see why that is the case. <laughs> Ancient feudal Japan, a land shrouded in mystery, forbidden to foreigners, a group of magical islands home to witches and demons, a nation of rival provinces whose lords were ruled by a shogun whose will is absolute. Peace in the realm is kept by the samurai, master swordsmen, tasked with protecting their lord and their province at all costs. Should a samurai ever lose or fail his master, he suffers the greatest shame in all Japanese society. He becomes a ronin. And yet to know the story of the 47 ronin is to know the story of old Japan. It began with a boy. No one knew where he came from or how he found his way to Argo. Some said he was a changeling, no better than a beast. Many believed he'd been raised by the Tengu. I'll say, I wouldn't have done the voiceover. I think the voiceover is not helping this. It's distracting from the visuals. I think it would have been better if they would have just uh, gave you the little thing like, you know, in this year, this is where we're starting and definition of a Ronin or something. And then just had us following this person and you're kind of like, where is he coming from or something? Um, I, I'm not in love with the voiceover. The demons of the forest who had taught him their dark powers and trained him in their lethal arts of killing. The evil he had fled had left its mark upon him. Oh, is he? My lord, it is a demon. Lord Asano of the province Akko saved him that day, seeing something in the boy that Oishi did not. Okay, so we already feel bad for him, you know, somebody who's been chased, people think he's a demon. Lord Asano's daughter, Mika, saw it too. But he's someone special. Because he's Neo, he's the chosen one. <laughs> Mika's father allowed the boy to live amongst them against the advice of his samurai. Yeah, that would be my advice. Not a good thing. Look. What do you see? A branch? No. It's a deer. Mika only saw a gentle boy. Mm. Although he lived as an outcast, Kai was determined to repay the love he received from Mika and her father. Yeah, I don't think he made this voice, this voice ever, though. Keanu Reeves! Kai! Well? So he's respected. Respected by all these people. Look at that landscape. Establishing a little bit of a mythical element.
they saved the day. Respectful. I would rather have been killed by that beast than saved by a half-breed. There you go. There's the conflict right there. Well, thing will never be accepted. He wants to be accepted. He'll never be accepted. There's his wound right there. No matter what he does. He just found the mythical animal, killed the mythical animal, saved this guy's life. He'll never be accepted. And we all want to be accepted. So that's a good wound for a character. And here we are in the first 10 minutes. We already know that, what it's all about. That's the journey for him to be accepted. Ako owes you a great debt, Yasuno. We can finally welcome the Shogun without fear. There's the first 10 minutes of 47 Ronin. And this is, I think, the guy from the beginning, like the kid, right? So he was going to kill him, and the, and the older guy said no. And so this goes way back. Their beef goes way back. So this is a great 10 minutes. I care. I care about Keanu Reeves' character. I care about that other guy, too. Because it's like, oh, I want him to accept uh, Keanu Reeves' character. I want... Uh, you know, great things to happen for them, but we know that there's trouble, right? So, and we know that I'm assuming he's gonna become a samurai or this other guy's a samurai already or something, right? Thing, things are brewing. But this is a wonderful opening to get us to care about the main character. And this is why you should watch 47 Ronin. Maybe, you know, it's 2013, 10 year old movie. Maybe you're like, nah, I don't know. It doesn't get that much press. It didn't get enough marketing. Don't fall for all the marketing. Watch 10 minutes and see how you feel. Do you care? You know, maybe there was a little CGI with that mythical beast. Maybe that took you out. Um, I don't even remember that much mythical stuff going on, so maybe I haven't watched it in so long, but um, maybe that took you out. But I have to say, throughout the film, they try to hit you with these emotional uh, points. So that's my recommendation for today, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.